Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for August 7th. This is a daily reading. We're just going to see what comes up, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This may not be for exactly the 7th. This is intended for the 7th, but timing is fluid. There is such thing as divine timing, okay? This is a preview of what's to come. Perhaps this reading may or may not be for you. What do we got for the seventh? What do we have for the seventh? Listen. Listen. It's the high priestess. So we have somebody here that is, is harnessing their power. They're receiving messages. They may be isolating themselves a, a little bit to listen to what they are hearing, going within, keeping to themselves, developing their intuition, using their intuition as a tool. So today is a day of listening and receiving and trusting your intuition. Maybe something, maybe you saw something coming or you sensed something was coming and here it is. You know. You know this is already part of the script, or this is part of the script. The High Priestess carries the script, typically. Ooh. Strength. Strength. You're going to need some strength and courage and confidence and willpower and discipline to deal with something, perhaps to restrain yourself and go within. Usually the strength card signifies that you got to let go of something. And you need to find the strength to do so. This is a oneness. This is finding that force within you. Mastering your emotions as well. Ooh. We have some love here, the Ace of Cups, hoping for love, hoping for that big love, right? Somebody may be hoping for a reconciliation. I'm just saying, we got this judgment card right here. Or they're hoping to find that big love, right? Hoping that this is love. That's what we all hope for, right? But the Page of Pentacles reversed. This is this is a dead end. The Page of Pentacles reversed. There's there's no follow through. You know, somebody may not have the moral backbone to follow through. They're not really moving. They're, they're staying in a troubled space with that Six of Swords reversed. The challenge is opening, opening your heart or the other person opening their heart. Right now it looks like, I mean, with a Knight of Swords, somebody is moving. They are moving, but then this is reluctant to move. So we're going to... I'm going to have to get some more cards here. Hmm. Magician taking action. Made a decision. Somebody has made a decision and they're about to take action. That's what we got here. I'm just going to zoom this in a little bit. So somebody has made a decision. It's like they've made a decision. And they, and then they are going to take action. We have somebody here that has been going within. They have been, and they have received some sort of message that they need to get moving. It's time to go. It's time to take action to bring success, to bring a successful, you know, to make this love 
story successful. But right here in this right now position, the page of pentacles, this is, uh, you know, not willing to apologize or not willing to give anything, not willing to, you know, but this is willing to. So we got a lot of contradictions here and it makes sense because there's been some sort of confusion. We have somebody here that has been very confused. They've been trying to make a complex decision, and I think now they have made the decision, but right now, as we speak, this person is reluctant. I mean, they want to take action. It's like they know they, they, know they have to take action, or they, they've been told via the divine or through their gut or something like that to take action to do it but this page of pentacles reversed there could be fear okay there could be fear of starting over there could be fear of rejection maybe it's too late maybe it's too late maybe that's what their fear is somebody has um with that six of swords be reversed they've been reluctant to make any moves maybe because I mean, this could be reluctant to apologize, reluctant to take a new approach, isolating themselves, growing exhausted, exhausted, maybe even frustrated because, you know, of the poor decisions that they made in the past. I feel like right now we have somebody here that is about to take action. It's like they've, their decision is, the decision is about to be made, um, it's like they want to have this, they want to bring love, real love. They want this real love. So this guy takes action. So here there's, there's, it's like the judgment reversed. There could be some, um, secret that is about some truth that is about to be revealed that has been hidden about somebody's true feelings. And I feel like somebody is really fearful of being rejected. And that's why they haven't come forward. They haven't come forward because what if what if the, what if it's too late? What if there's no chance for reconciliation? But they're hoping for a reconciliation here. So the challenge is finding the courage and the confidence to follow your heart. So somebody is is facing that challenge, you know. Somebody sees a very beautiful opportunity, you know, somebody that does have a big heart, they see it, and it's like they want to go for it, but finding the um, ability to do so is the problem. You know, that's what they need to do. They need to face their fears. Um, and I think somebody is going to find the confidence to face their fears. I think this person probably didn't act with integrity in the past. And they sometimes, you know, they don't follow through on things. And, you know, they've probably been repeating this pattern throughout their lives. And now they're wanting to change their direction. You know, they're wanting to change. Maybe they've learned some sort of lesson or something. I don't know. Um, we have somebody here that is willing to do whatever it takes to bring success. Somebody is thinking about going back, thinking really long and hard about going to back to somebody that they disappointed. Maybe they left, you know, they they they, they hurt or something like that. Uh, definitely that they hurt. Um, there maybe they're hoping for forgiveness. They're hoping that they will be forgiven. Um, so there is forgiveness here. There's a need for forgiveness to let go of the past hurts. So I feel like. Somebody is hoping that there is an opportunity for new love. And I think that they are going to offer love to somebody. They're going to take action and make an offer of love and hope for free. They're hoping for forgiveness. They're hoping somebody will come back. I mean, I can't make this up. I can't. I mean, that's what it is. They're hoping somebody will come back. I think this person that they're hoping will come back, um, mm, maybe a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is um, closed off emotionally. They're literally unavailable. They're emotionally unavailable. This person um, may have been in the past emotionally unavailable. But now 
you know, the cup is upright. Maybe they want to refill it. Maybe they want to start over. Not taking action. That person is not taking any action. They don't have any courage. We have somebody here that has no love to offer. There's no chance of reconciliation. And, the, and, and there's no apology coming. And you're going to need to find your confidence and your courage to move on. And now I got it. Okay? Reluctant to move on. We got somebody here who's reluctant to move on because they love another person. And you need to accept. This is a, not accepting. I mean, this is absolution. We have somebody here that needs to accept that this person... I'm sorry, doesn't love them, and there's an opportunity for love if you get, are willing to shed the person that hurt you. And open your heart to somebody else. I really feel as though there, there's an opportunity for love here, but there's no chance in reconciliation with the person that didn't reciprocate love. I'm just being honest. We have somebody here that has been reluctant to move on, holding on to those hurts, hoping for forgiveness, and it's not happening. It's not happening. And you need to make that decision to stop looking back and do the right thing for yourself. You know, you really, if you need to go within, maybe you need to listen to me. I don't know. But it, it feels as though somebody's intuition has been telling them it is time to hold your head up high be proud of who you are find your strength find your confidence to let go stop looking back so perhaps this is a day of making a decision to take back your power from the per take back your power and love yourself enough to let go It is what it is. I mean, I can't. It is what it is. I feel as though we have somebody here that needs to find their confidence and their courage to start over in a different place. Start over with somebody else. Take your power back. Shed. This is The magician sheds the old to bring in the new. When you shed, maybe this is the day where you make the de decision to completely shed so that new love will come in. Maybe this is the day where you actually open your heart to new love and accept an offer of new love. This is letting go of the past hurts. Three of swords. Forgiveness. Three of Swords reversed, okay? Um, releasing the pain. It's time to leave the past behind. The, make the decision. And this is a day of making the decision to leave the past behind. In search for big, huge love. So I feel like this is a day of loving yourself enough to let go of the person that was emotionally unavailable for you and accepting that it's over, accepting the truth. So it's a day of acceptance and it's a day of release. And I know there's a lot of people that will not. They will not. Hey, that's your call. The challenge is self-love, loving yourself, and letting somebody love you. There's somebody else here. It's you know, there's somebody else here that is going to come in. This person is going to come in. But you have to be willing to shed the past before this person can sweep you off your feet. You can't be you can't keep looking back. You need to take a break. You need to completely let go of the one that didn't love you. You need to accept when somebody walks away, if they can literally walk away and not look back, is that love?
So I feel like this is a day of perhaps making a decision to take your power back and release this past individual who was emotionally unavailable to your connection. You have another love here. You want love. You have the opportunity to call in love. But you have to be willing to release. So I feel like there is somebody else that is headed in. But you have to you have to make that first step. You have to make that step down that path. And we have somebody here who hasn't d taken any steps. Take that step. Make that decision to release. That's my advice. I'm, it is what it is. Good luck. So the seventh is about... Loving yourself enough to not be held back by somebody that doesn't love you. Good luck. 